you don't have a star. Why not? Well, uh, well, you don't have to have a star if you don't want it. Yeah. But I mean, come yeah. on. Uh -huh. Let's face it. At 79, Warren Beatty doesn't need a star on Hollywood Boulevard to remind people that he's a living legend. This is his first movie role. You won't forget him. His first movie part, opposite Natalie Wood in 1961's Splendor in the Grass, made him a household name. Are we going to the victory dance? I can think of things I'd rather do. This, uh, this theater, yeah. what this theater was, was the first theater we ever showed Bonnie and Clyde in. How are you? This year's Miss Bonnie Parker. Glad to meet you. I'm Clyde Barrett. Beatty was only 29 when he produced and starred opposite Faye Dunaway in Bonnie and Clyde. We robbed banks. A movie milestone that forever changed the way Hollywood depicted violence. Well, the place to be now is Russia. Oh, and in 1981, he starred in and won an Oscar for directing Reds, a three and a half hour epic about American communists in the early 20th century. <laughs> but it's not just his work that's captivated the public for over half a century. It's also his love life. <laughs> He's had relationships with Julie Christie, Diane Keaton, Leslie Caron, and was rumored to be linked with, well, a lot of beautiful women. So much to talk about. And did you have mentors early on? I got to meet producers and directors and screenwriters. But as we learned when we sat down with him at the American Film Institute in Los Angeles, Warren Beatty isn't the easiest person to interview. Does anyone spring to mind as somebody that really taught you something? Here's what I, when you say, uh, name somebody. Yeah. I, I always avoid that. That's sure. why I'm such a bad interview. Billionaire, goddammit, not millionaire. And what but Warren Beatty has a movie to promote, and so here we are. In Rules Don't Apply, he plays the famously secretive billionaire, Howard Hughes. Have you heard from people that I'm crazy? Though the film centers on an aspiring actress from Virginia and her driver, both church-going small-towners, who struggle to keep their religious values intact in 1958 Hollywood. She still believes that once you've been intimate or gone all the way with a person, that in the eyes of God, you're committed to that person for the rest of your life. I agree with Sarah. That's why I've never done it. That's why I'm waiting, because I have to be sure. Beatty himself was raised Southern Baptist in Virginia before coming to Hollywood in the late 1950s. One of the characters in the movie says, once you've been intimate, you're married. Was that your understanding when you were growing up? I would say that as a teenager, I was uh, all over the lot. I, I, I didn't know for sure what I felt about all of those things. Yeah. I don't want to pontificate on, on your show about this Fine. because you're editing and I'm not. And so I want to be very clear about what I say. And I have learned in my long period of being What's the word? Famous or well-known? Yeah, famous. <clears throat> I've learned that I, I uh, um, if I want to say something, I should say it myself. Especially when it comes to his new movie. At first, I thought that it was a movie mainly about Howard Hughes, and then my own self-obsession took over, and I thought, no, no, this is what I'm more as interested in is what was Hollywood like when I came here. Beatty's Howard Hughes is a man obsessed with his privacy. May I give you some advice? Yes. Never trust anybody. <laughs> he very much wanted to stay out of sight, and uh, he was very interested in controlling the image of how he was seen. Now, I see a look on your face, and you're going to say, how is that in common with me? Well, 
I'll tell you what, uh, the, the, the title that most interested me in a long time was the, the Christopher Lash uh, title of his book called The Culture of Narcissism. I, in my defense, I wasn't going to call you a narcissist. You're a control freak, but I wasn't going to call you a narcissist. Well, a control freak is, uh, I, I'm guilty, but ask anybody who works with me. I, I, I want them to give feedback, uh, and, and, I, and, and I, 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 I do collaborate with smart people. And Warren Beatty is friends with a lot of smart and famous people in politics and, of course, in Hollywood. I, uh, do you see this booth? It's, it's in that booth that I first met Jack Nicholson. That booth is in Hollywood's famed Musso and Frank Grill, one of Beatty's longtime favorites. The first time I ever met Jack was in 1964, I think, 65. By then, his older sister was already a star. You know what's funny is a lot of people watching this won't know until now that... that Shirley MacLaine is my sister. Yeah, isn't that funny? <laughs> And you never made a movie together. That's true. It would have been neat if you if you had. Uh, not a bad idea. You wouldn't have to play brother or sister. Just play two characters. I, I think we shouldn't play man and wife. That would not be a good idea. No, that would be pushing the envelope a little uh, too yes. much. That would be throwing the envelope away. <laughs> May I? And there's another woman Warren Beatty will talk about. The way you were staring at me, I thought you were going to ask me for something a little more exciting. Like what? Use your imagination. I'm using it. Let me know when you're finished. He met actress Annette Benning during the production of 1991's Bugsy. They have four children. Okay, this is the part of the interview where we talk about how much you love your wife. <laughs> yeah. How much do you love your wife? Um... It is the most intelligent thing that I ever have done. My life has completely flowered with mm -hmm. Annette and the kids. I am uh, extremely proud of her in every respect. What do you think your life would be like if you hadn't met Annette? I, <laughs> I, I try not to think about it. I mean, uh, would you be on Tinder? Like, on Tinder? Oh, I'm not very good on the on that stuff. You wouldn't be like dating a Kardashian. Oh. You'd be okay, we don't know. It seems that after 58 years in Hollywood, Warren Beatty is happy to talk about his movies and his marriage and let the rest speak for itself. Next March you will have been married for 25 years. That is correct. It seems like 25 weeks. <laughs> I feel very <laughs> positively uh, about it and uh, and and very lucky and and um, I could go on and on and on 